Hi everybody, quick Suron update. So I recently swapped over from a belt drive to a chain drive, I'll show you that. So the Suron runs a belt drive. So originally this had a pulley here that would spin this unit and this unit would go over here, spin the chain, blah, blah, blah. You know how it goes. So I had broken the belt uh, recently put a new belt on and I can get this thing in the light here. You'll see it had started to fray already after one ride uh, in URA National Forest. Like, don't get me wrong, that was 40 something hard miles, but. Okay, so this is what replaces the belt drive. It is a new gear drive. Uh, super easy install. The jack shaft is the only part that took a little bit of work to do. Uh, beyond that, it's really easy, straightforward. I keep the cover off in the front so I can inspect and lubricate the chain easily. I've had this thing out for a few rides now. I wanted to get some miles on it before I made any type of like video. If you're thinking about doing this because you're breaking belts, I highly recommend it. I was breaking belts just for the fact I ride in a lot of mud and sand and that seemed to just really not work well with this bike. Everything else has been good. If you do follow me on Instagram, you know that I had some issues with these spokes. Uh, I have since uh, had the wheels uh, kind of gone through uh, still stock wheels and got the, the wheels, uh, really the spokes were just all super loose and so spokes are tight. Wheels are true. Uh, haven't had a single problem with them since then. I've already been putting some hard miles on them. So very happy overall with this setup. Um, gonna take it back to the mountains pretty soon, but figure if you're curious to know how much louder uh, this bike is with this setup and if it's more reliable, uh, this is a good video for that. I'll post up some video of me having some fun with this thing out at uh, Cape Fury Max. Just a, a, a good blast. I did notice that I lost a little bit of battery range out of it um maybe like five to ten percent and that might be a little much uh did feel like it cut the power just a touch but you know i'm, I'm looking for reliability more than anything else i do have two batteries for this thing so it's not that big of a deal i can still get you know about 40 miles depending on what type of terrain i'm at when i'm out at like cape fair mx where it's really soft it really chews through the battery a lot faster when I take this thing up to Eora National Forest, uh, I can get about 45 miles out of two batteries. So that's pretty good enough to make this old man definitely feel it. So that's it. Hope everybody's uh, having a good weekend and cue the clips of me riding this thing. See ya.